Now, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Number two. Number two. This was a token from God Almighty about the coming resurrection which will take place at the end of time. So God was giving us a foretaste, if you please, of what is about to take place. He says, is not the resurrection a fundamental belief in Christianity? Yes, it is. And that's why Jesus was the firstborn of the dead. And that's why he tells us that we one day, when the trumpet will sound, which is also borrowed by Muhammad, borrowed by Muhammad from the Bible, when the trumpet sounds, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we who are alive shall be taken in the clouds. God's word is to be believed. Whether you understand it or not is a difficulty that you may face. Take, for instance, the Quran. I would like to ask how many of you Arabic speaking people understand the Quran in Arabic? Oh, yeah? No kidding. You're not telling the truth because scholars, oh no. no. Listen to this. The commentator, the newest, listen, the most modern, the most modern book about the Islamic verses, which is a thick book, this thick, by Dr. Cassis, says that the Quran is untranslatable, untranslatable from Arabic to any other language. And therefore, it is not understood. That's a true. Thank you. The next question to Mr. Dida. Don't you think that it is proof enough that Jesus is God because he brought Lazarus back from the dead? Uh, the question was, I think something like this, that Jesus is God because he rose Lazarus back from the dead. No way does the Bible say that Jesus gave back life back to Lazarus. No way. Jesus Christ, when his friend Lazarus had died, if you read the Gospel of St. John, that he was not there. When he goes to the village where his friend Lazarus was supposed to be, and the sister of Lazarus, Martha, tells him, he says, look, if you were here with us, my brother might not have died. Meaning by some miraculous performance, you might have saved my brother's life. So Jesus tells her, he said, even now, if you have faith, you shall see the glory of God. Even now, not my glory, the glory of God. So saying, he says, lead me to where you have laid him. So they take him to the sepulchre. Sepulchre is a grave carved out of a rock. And while he's going, he's crying to God for help. The Bible says he moaned in the spirit. He groaned in the spirit. Meaning he's crying, talking to God, which is not audible to the people that are with him, as if he's crying, moaning, mm, 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 something to their effect. And he was actually communing with God. And when he got the assurance from God, Jesus Christ looks up towards heaven and he says, Oh my Father, God Almighty, I know that thou hast heard me. What? That groaning, that crying, that beseeching Allah for help. I know that thou hast heard me and I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the people that stood by, these superstitious, credulous people, they will think that I have done the job. I have given life back to the dead. Because of the people that stood by, I said it, meaning I'm talking aloud, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. That's all. That you have sent me, it is you who are doing the works. And he says, I can of my own self do nothing. I by the finger of God cast out devils. I by the spirit of God do these things. Where does he say, Jesus, that I gave life to the dead? No way. The next question to Dr. Sharosh doesn't appear to be very legible. I'll do my best. Which version of the Bible do you accept as authentic? Do you agree with the versions which were removed? 1 John 5, 7, which read, 
There are three who bear witness in, I don't know what that word reads, it's Linen, I think, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and that these three are one. Uh, Dr. Shirosh, have you understood that question? This question, ladies and gentlemen, deals with a text that is supposed to be in the text of the scripture called in the proper language of biblical textual criticism, interpolation. That means it is not in the original text. When we talk about the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, I think I need to remind you, you believe the Quran came in Arabic. The Old Testament came in Hebrew the New Testament in Greek. In order to understand precisely the meaning of the scripture, you need to go to the original language. In criticizing that scripture, shall we say, approaching it in analytical manner, we are not afraid when a passage had been interpolating the scripture to identify it. Whereas you are, you have never been willing until this day in a public manner to approach the book in an in analytical manner. And you have not been very carefully listening to what's being said. Instead, you've been jumping up and sounding off. Secondly, as for that verse itself, that verse itself, in the new textual translations, depending on the copies that we have from ancient Greek, such as the copy of Sanaticus, such as the copies in Greek at the museum here in London, we have discovered the more ancient discoveries archaeologists make, the more carefully we are able to analyze and show you the precise writing from as far back as we can find. The question I have for you is this, why did Uthman burn all your Qur'ans? Do you realize? I have here in my hand materials for the history of the text of the Quran in which we have identified mushafs in Al-Azhar and in Damascus that go back to the days of Muhammad himself where the variant readings are identified. And I challenge you to get the book by Arthur Jeffrey, who is a scholar that spent about 40 years studying that. So, the answer to the question is, that verse is not in the scripture, and this is what we believe, because we believe in the authenticity of the scripture itself, according to textual, analytical, archaeological criticism that we appreciate to believe the truth is the truth. Next question to Mr. Didat. Don't Muslims also have different versions of the Quran for Arabs and for non-Arabs? The question was, do Muslims also have different versions of the Quran? We have no different versions. We have, we have different translations. What is the difference between a version and a translation? I tell you. 